Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, so before I continue with this, I want to show you what I got from Crafters Solution. So I got my boss. Let me lift this up a little bit. I don't know what took me so long because this is a game changer when you are embossing. Like it's easier to hold. You don't have to worry about it, you know, putting it down on something. You just put it down. It's not going to fall over. Like it, it's amazing, more amazing than I even thought. So I did put the link in the description. It, it should be should be there. It is so worth the investment to protect yourself. It's easier on my my hands. Uh, like it's a game changer. And you can also have it engraved. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it when it's kind of kind of down, but it says stamp with Gail Sue. I might just like paint inside of it some white and then it'll show better, but I mean, I can see it. So on top of that, in the next few weeks, I will be doing some more giveaways for tipsies. So these are imperfect ones, but they work just the same. Um, they're just like the ones I gave away before. So be ready for it. Might even do one tonight after the live. But this is also my birthday month, so that's part of it. And then February starts my 23rd year with Stampin' Up. So I will be doing a giveaway in February for a full stamp set with dies. And that's like a $50 value. So that's going to be my big thing for February. So get ready for all these giveaways. There might be a few in between. I'm just about ready to hit 7,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And I'm hoping to hit, eight, I think I'm like in the 700s here. So I'm hoping to hit 800 and I mean, my goal is a thousand and, and even further, but just wait for it. It's going to be fun. All right. So let's get stamping kind of, sort of, um, because the first two cards are kind of done, but I want to show you, this is just stamped, not colored. It would be beautiful just like that. This one is embossed. I got to use my boss um, for the embossing. So I did this one in black. Hey, I see Lou and Judith and Cynthia and Patricia. Oh, where's my little wand? It's somewhere here. <laughs> I could look through it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab a piece of paper uh, then I'm going to do a little something on that one. But I want to show you, and like I always try to be totally honest with my customers and people who watch me. So, you know, I use Gina K because you can stamp and then either use your watercolors or use your alcohol, which is a big plus but I want to show you the difference. And this is with any of the black inks. I mean, it's great when you use the um, Stamparatus, but this is stamping it plain. I mean, I could grab the one that we sell, okay? That's without going, and it's pretty. Okay, you get a nice, nice image. But I've also been using for quite a while, and, and I think I used it in a video or two. This is Versafine, and this is amazing, the, the difference. So I'm going to ink this up again. I'm going to grab another piece because I do want to show you the difference.
Now, sometimes you have to um, heat set this if you want it to dry quicker, but I haven't had any real problem with this. Now, that's one stamping. Anything that's very um, fine, small lettering or anything with a, a fine print or fine design, fine line, I'll call it. Can you see the difference in that? It's amazing. Yeah, I know a lot of people that watch me. Yeah, it needs to dry just, uh, you know, a little bit, but then you can do basically anything with it. So, um, but you get a beautiful image. So if you're just stamping something in black, like this is, and you want it to be very, very vivid, you know, and you're, you're greeting, that's what you want to do. So this one, I want to leave black. Now I used, um, what did I use? Pool party. And I put it through the Parisian flourish 3d folder. And I bet nobody can say that three times fast. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm going to glue this down onto my card base. And this one, I'm going to leave black, like I said. So we'll glue that down. Then I'm going to take this and glue it right there. Whoops. Love when I whoopsie. Oh, and there's my whoopsie came to the other side. And the towel is there. All right, so let's put that down. Now I'm thinking, do I want to put this up? Yes. So we're just going to throw a few dimensionals. Well, you know my few. Those glue holders are awesome, aren't they? That's like a really big game changer. Oops. No, I missed one. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And then just to even it out, look at this, I get more to color. I'm going to take from the Peaceful Poppy sequence, and I'm going to put three of them, one, two, and three. Now let's see how easy it is to get them out. It's not always. Okay, so there's one. I want the same ones. There's like little flower ones and then I've got two there. Two. Let's see if the girl can count to three. Oh, that's a flower one. And three. So there's that very simple card. So that's card number one. All right, let's put this away before that goes on the floor. Okay, and then now the one that I embossed in black, and again, here I use the VersaFine. Let me see if I have the one that I didn't, or if I, I might have thrown it out. Here, and, and I stamped too hard, but you see how light? that is compared to that you just get a really vivid image and I don't use it for everything because the you know I love the the other 
Okay, so this one, I'm going to color. And I'm using alcohol in here. And I'm going to take, let's see, let's do some Calypso Coral. Happens to still be out. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Victoria, Char, Marlene. Whoops, I didn't want to close that all the way. Put it like that. So I just put in a little bit of squeeze. Come on, alcohol. There you go. So just squeeze a little bit of alcohol. And that's going to dry. It, you're not even, it, like you can wipe it out if you want, but you don't have to. And we're just going to put a little bit of color. And th I mean, this is how fast it is to do this. If you want to make it a little darker, go directly, directly into the ink. You can put some on the edges where they showed, you know, some black. And it, it just, you know, I mean, you can do any color on this, of course, but the alcohol dries really fast. It's not going to pill your paper. I also made um, my own alcohol ink with Stampin' um, refills, which I'm going to have to do a video on because that was, they're really fun. You use some Yupo paper. I'm going to have to turn that upside down. Let me finish this side. <laughs> I can't work backwards. Okay, so I got blip, blip, blip. So we're just adding, you know, a little bit of color. We're not getting like majorly crazy. But it's it's fast. That's a space that wasn't part of the flower, but you can't tell when it's done. That's the second time I did that with these. And okay, then I'm going to just clean that off a little bit and grab pear pizzazz oh i missed one or two so then i'm just going to go back in with the pear pizzazz oh there's one i missed and i know i missed that one you can also do you know a little bit in the stem but not majorly important i can do the leaves upside down I don't have to stand on my head or nothing. And one there. Okay, so even with missing the couple, it still looks great. But I'm going to go back and fix that one or two. You see that like alcohol just goes away by itself. I hear something beeping in the other room. Makes me nervous. Where's the other one right there? Okay. So let's put that together. So this was five by three and three quarters. dog is scratching at the door which means whatever's beeping is scaring her it's the one in the bedroom the dog is scared it doesn't need batteries it's electric he's figuring it out hi Karen 
Okay, so then we're just gonna put that down and even though I had to leave you, that was a quick card. Well, quicker because I didn't emboss it in front of you, but that's a pretty card. Wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. Oh, stop being scared, baby. She's like climbing on me. Okay, so for the real card that I'm doing from scratch, I pulled in, oh, now all these tipsies are going to go flying. Let me just grab them and put them aside. Okay, so I pulled in Timeless Tropical. We're using the trees. And we're using the dyes, except for a saying. And that also, did that come from that? No, that came from Forever Blossoms. Okay. So I'm going to take this piece. This is um, five and a quarter by four. And I am going to use markers for this. So I'm just going to color the trees and I've done this for you. I think the last time I did this, I did uh, a few colors into the trees. I'm just using one this time. And then Okay, and I'm going to stamp it. Yeah, about there. So there's one. We got to do this uh, three times. And you want to make sure that you're using the side of your marker so you don't crunch up your tip. And then you can never like really color with it again. Oops. I'm not an artist, so I can't draw that in if I forget to stamp it. I can fake a few things, but okay. So we're going to put that one there and then do it one more time. is here. Lou, you're not a scared baby? That's good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's all right. Okay, so I have cut these things. And then I did with the scraps of paper I got some edges which doesn't matter I'm gonna be cutting everything anyway so I cut all these flowers uh, most of them I did already they're like all ready to go so but I'm gonna show you how I did that so I took my daubers and I used Petal Pink, Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride to match the paper. Okay, and I just took in the center. And ink that up. Then I took our Whisper White Craft Ink.
and went around the edges and you might have to do it like after it dries you know do it again because it it dries in and then you think you didn't do it <laughs> I'm like did I do that one and you can put as much or as little as you want you know as depend you know how far back you want to go Okay, so that's done. Then I took the little insides, which I did out of crushed curry. And I was trying to make it easier for my fingers, so I'm using my I'll hold it for you tweezer. And I just put a drop of glue on that decide which way I want it and voila released that one's done and can you even see that So if anybody like I this is the first time I've ever scheduled um, a post through my app alive. So if there's anybody that had clicked get reminder, let me know if it if that worked. And I'll either see it after or hi Kathy. No notification on laptop. Okay, so what I did with these. When I was first playing with it, I left them this way. And if I hadn't glued that other one down, when you um, cut, cut out that one flower, the single one, you can lay these underneath it and then put your flower higher. But what I did, but first, but wait, there's more to do to this card first. Okay. Let me set this aside a little bit. So I took my makeup brushes. I'm missing one. Nope, I'm not. It's there. All right, so this one was the blue. So I have... You know what? Let me do the center one first. And I don't think it really matters which one I use. So I'm going to do the Coastal Cabana. And I did it swirly so it would look like water, kind of, sort of. But you're not going to see it as, you know, like when I do other scenes. But I just love doing scenes. So, love, love, love. All right. So, I think I have enough of that. We're going to take... Soft Suede. And we're going to make some doit. Well, I didn't mean to bring it up there, but that might get covered too. And I'm not even getting, you know, like crazy with keeping it smooth. The top I probably want a little smoother. All right, so now we're going to do the balmy blue. Sometimes I like to brush it off a little bit. And your sky could be, doesn't have to be as even either because it'll, it'll look like clouds. I 
Okay, so then I am going to take a little bit of Grapefruit Grove. You got your reminder, Marlene? Cool, it means it works. Then I had to figure out it was a little different starting starting the live. I'm like, is it gonna go automatically? Is it just gonna pop up? I didn't know what to expect. So I'm just putting this between the blue and the water. And look at that. Maybe we'll make it a little darker. I mean, it looks good like in person here. So you could do pink, you could do whatever you wanted. I'm just going to take a sip of my drink. Okay, so now we, that we got that done. So I took these and I snipped them. Uh, let's see, do I want that? No, no. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to snip another one. Put it there. I didn't want to put them like upside down. Um, I think before I do all, nah, maybe I'll do it after. I can never decide. All right, so then it's a matter of laying out where you want to put these. So of course they make it, I, I believe that's where you would, you know, put your flowers, but for this particular one, it really doesn't matter. And I did one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven. Okay. So I think I'm going to shove the other things in because I also put leaves. Um, I'm only putting, let me get them. Oh, and there's the dies in there too. So these are the two different dies. So I did them two different sizes, which doesn't matter. And this is in um, Mossy Meadow. But once you have that down, you can slip as long as you put it. You can always go back in and tuck a little bit more glue if you need to, but I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. Once you get it down, if that's not glued, you can, is it down? No. Yes, it's down. It's not really going to go anywhere. Okay, so this one is going to get popped up. So I'm going to put a dot on it. Uh, where'd they go? Here they are. So I'm going to put a dot right in the middle. Oh, I didn't glue these down. Duh! All right, let's glue them down. I didn't mean to just lay them there and not do anything with them. Oh, silly me. I jumped ahead of the game. All right, so we're just putting them down for looks, for background. I should use my hold it for me tweezies. All right, is that the back? Yep, that's the back. I did cut a couple of these extra just in case I wanted to throw a couple more in. All right, so that's going to go there. And then this one. So my hubby put in our new kitchen faucet today and he's been hesitating because we couldn't figure out 
why there was no valve underneath the sink to shut the water off. So I said, why don't you just take a ride over to um, Home Depot and see what, you know, they tell you. So the guy gave him the hoses he needs because it's a whole different type of fitting. So he gave him the hoses and he gave him whatever. And then he went and he shut off the water where he thought it was supposed to be. And it didn't shut off. Well, when we moved in, there was this box in the garage that we thought was old, um, not breaker, the old fuse box. And we're like, really? Like, they had fuse box? This house isn't that old. So it turns out that's where you shut the water from. He, he went and looked at it again, and he was like, hot and cold, red and blue, there you go. And everything was marked. And you just shut it right from there. So it was easy peasy, except for reaching up behind. And he stuffed pillows under himself for his back. But I have a faucet. Yay. Oh, this one I want popped up. All right. So we're going to put that one there. And then we're going to have to stick all the greens in. So the ones that I'm popping up, I'm going to let that leaf pop up as well. My tipsy just tipped. Okay. So that's going to go there. I want new working fingers. Okay, so that's going to go like that, and then we're going to stick a couple more in. So you can just tuck them right under. Let's do it there. And it just gives it a little extra color. So this one's going to go down. This is the one I want to pop up. So we're going to put, hopefully that's in the right spot. I'm just guesstimating. This is going to go down like that. And then this one is going to get, where do I throw it all the time? There it is. So that's going to get a dot. And it's going to get another one stuck to its side. Oops, it's backwards. I got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's do this smarter, not harder. We're going to put this down, and then we're going to put the thing over it to protect it. Stay. You know what? That one's getting a double. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. So that's going to go, maybe I didn't want it there. Yeah, it's going to be there. I feel like it needed another one there, but it's fine. I'm going to put a leaf, leaves, leaves. <laughs> Leaves me alone. My tipsy's drunk. It's a little too tipsy. And then with these extras, let's see, we can cut some more of that off.
and put another one into there and maybe another one right on top of that I should have put the one with three leaves over there all right we're gonna double that one up okay it's one more leaf one more leaf right there yeah baby okay so now we just have to stamp our saying and I'm gonna do it because I want it nice and crisp and I don't want to pull out the stamp apparatus. So but I am going to before I put this together, I'm gonna to dry that a little bit. I just scared the dog. Okay, so let's put this together. Sorry, baby. You hear her growling? Depending on which one of us she's with, she'll growl at the other one. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> okay, so there's that card. Cherish every moment of this day. I cherish every moment of every day. Every day. All right, so let me bring everything back. That, that, and that. And don't forget, I may do one after for the 34 people that are on here. So if you said a little something, your name is in there. And um, over the next rest of this month and February, I'll have lots of surprises. And um, if anybody that's watching, I know there's a few people who have been following me on my coloring journey. This is what I did today. This is by an artist, um, Shelly West. And it's just, she's just so beautiful. So that's what I did today. I know it's a little blurry because my camera sucks. Anyway. Thanks for joining me tonight, and I will see you again with you know my motto. I don't know what. It'll be something, and it'll be on Sunday. I'll also be Saturday on YouTube coloring one of my little images that I download. So I'll see you next time. Thanks again, everybody. Good night.